My name is Takara and I am your financial educator and your friend. So I know we're here to talk about finances and everything that has to do with finances on this channel. But in order for you to be able to understand how important it is to manage your money, the things that you need to do in order to be able to manage your money and to be able to design the financial future that you want, you need to understand first how this thing actually works. So over here, be assured that you will get several things over here. You will get information and you will definitely get the truth over here. That is what this is all about. So I need to get you to understand the foundations of financial literacy first so that you understand your roadmap for what it is that you need to be looking for when you're managing your money. So there are five components to financial literacy that we're going to talk about today. So I thank you for clicking on this video and we're gonna go ahead and get started right now. The five components of financial literacy are earning, saving and investing, spending, borrowing and protecting. Those are the five major components of this thing that you need to understand. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with number one, which is earning. So when we're talking about earning, what does it mean to earn something? So basically, in this case, talking about finances, earning just means that you are trading your time to receive some type of compensation, which is normally pay. The one thing you need to make sure that you understand about earning is how your money works as far as your check. So know the difference between the gross uh, amount of money that you make and the net pay that you are getting. Know how much um, taxes are coming out and where those things are going that are not in your check. And sometimes people don't realize some of the things that are in their check. So we'll talk more about that later in another video, but I just wanted you to get the gist and understand what I was talking about when I was talking about understanding your check. We're gonna move on to the second thing, which is talking about saving and investing. So saving and investing are both things that are super important. I know the last video I talked about saving in case of an emergency, but I never really got into investing. So investing your money is just as important as saving. Saving does not always have to be a savings account. You might deposit your money into some areas or some places. Uh, investments, you can do the stock market. There are so many different places and areas that you can save and invest your money. And if you know how to do this and you understand compound interest, that is gonna help you in the long run. But again, that is for a whole nother video. One thing that you need to understand about saving and investing is that you have some type of goal in mind when you are saving and investing. So the question for you is, what type of goal do you have for your future and for your money when you think about saving and investing? Go ahead and put your answers down in the comments. I would love to hear what you have to say about saving and investing your money and what you understand about saving and investing. When it comes to saving and investing your money, everybody has different thoughts and different things that they think about when it comes to their goals and the way that they wanna live. So everybody doesn't wanna be rich. Everybody doesn't want to have a whole lot of money. Some people like to live um, as minimalists. So what are your top goals for yourself, for your future? The next component for financial literacy that we need to talk about is borrowing. So that means loans, credit cards, things of that nature, things that deplete your savings and take away from your savings. What is it that you understand about borrowing? Because as long as you've borrowed money, you're still owing money to someone. 
or some place, whether it's an institution or a person. So as long as you understand borrowing and how it can work against you, you'll, you can understand saving just as well. Something else dealing with borrowing that people need to understand is when you have credit cards or anything with interest, if you're forgetting about those things, those things are incurring what we call interest. And interest, when it comes to paying extra on something that you've spent, is not your friend. That money that you're spending on interest, you could actually be saving and investing. Let's move on to our next component. Our next component is spending. What types of things do you understand about spending? I know a lot of us spend money uh, on things that we would like to have, things that we need, things that uh, we don't need sometimes, but we need to understand how spending affects all of these things and these components, all of these things work together. And so if you can understand these things, your foundation can be strong. So spending, if you have it under control and you know what you're doing, you can still spend, you can save, you can invest, you can have plenty of earnings left over, but you could be an impulsive spender. You can um, be spending money that you don't have. So we need to be careful about our spending and make sure that we're tracking those things, tracking those expenses and understand where our money is going. That is one thing that is super, super important when it comes to your finances. Know where your money is going. Be able to track those things. Lastly, we are going to talk about protecting your money. So protecting your money is one of the things that I think most people sometimes don't think about, but in the back of their mind, they know something could happen when it comes to fraud or somebody cleaning out your account. I'm sure you've heard some of the stories on the news about people who have been scammed or something has happened to their money from their bank account or their cash app or many of the different apps people might use. It is really important that you are looking into your finances pretty much almost daily if you can um, you never know when there might be a bank error you never know when you might see something that doesn't quite fit into what you know you're doing with your money so if you can catch those errors and catch those things you might end up with more money because you have looked into what's going on and you have a thought process of, oh, well, yesterday I had this amount of money and I didn't spend any money here. So if someone has your card or someone has gotten into your bank account, you can fix those things and resolve those things with your institution. So I have one last question for you guys. How do you feel about your financial literacy? Do you feel like you really understand financial literacy and you're on point with everything and you definitely know how to manage your money? Give me some examples of things that you know that you know about financial literacy and drop those down in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining me back here again today to talk about the topic of the five components of financial literacy. I hope that you have learned something today. I hope that it has been enjoyable and I hope that you will join me back here again for the next video talking about finances and how you can manage your money. I just want you to remember that how you manage your money matters and that only you can design your financial future.